Neighbours said their houses shook when the factory exploded last night. As the flames began to dwindle, the managing director was allowed to walk around the property. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a huge shock. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll do something. And there's nothing left. It's gone. With acrid air filled with burning rubber and metal, nearby residents were asked to move from their properties, but it was the sound that scared them the most. Actually, just behind that, we heard explosions from nine o'clock, well, fireworks from nine o'clock, <laughs> we thought, and then all of a sudden at ten? Uh, roughly about ten o'clock, yeah. Yeah, that's when we had to get everybody out the block and explosions were going off left, right and centre. All residents behind this building have been returned to their houses. The fire brigade are still checking for hot spots inside the warehouse. Um, it can look like it's out, but underneath all the top bits, there's a lot of hot bits underneath. So in this instance, we've had a significant fire in industrial unit. Part of the roof has, has failed, has fallen upon itself, uh, and obviously there's some things inside. Meanwhile, as Mr Mooney surveys what's left of the business, he's adamant that it's not at the end of it. We've already um, sorted out potentially somewhere to meet everyone on Monday and we'll be able to tell them then. So anyone from Dralim, um, you'll be hearing from us soon. Alex Isat, BBC South East Today, St Leonard's.